To create a subflow, first go to the Flows page and click Add. Select the blank subflow template and click Next. Here, you can design and create the subflow you wish to use. In this example, we will be creating a subflow that converts videos to HEVC with AAC audio in an MKV container, which will have two outputs. Open the Flow Properties tab in the right menu and add a description to our flow and define the two outputs. Our description can be a subflow that converts video to HEVC with AAC audio into a MKV container. Our two outputs will be Output 1, temporary file created. Output 2, no changes required. Output 2 will be called if the video file was already in the matching format. Now we will need to switch to the Plugins tab and add a FFmpeg Builder Start Flow element to begin building the FFmpeg command, and we will need to connect it to the subflow input. Then we will add a Video Encode Flow element and select HEVC and connect this to the Start Flow element. Then we will add a audio converter to convert our audio to AAC. In this simplified tutorial, we will just convert all audio to AAC. Now we will connect this to the previous flow element. Then we will add a remux to MKV. We need to connect both outputs from the audio converter to the remux. As on the convert flow element, output 1 indicates audio will be converted, and output 2 indicates audio did not need to be converted. Then we will add a FFmpeg Builder Executor to run our FFmpeg command and connect it. The FFmpeg Builder Executor has two outputs. Output 1, conversion was needed and a new temporary file has been created. Output 2, conversion was not needed and no new file has been created. This will occur if the file was already a MKV file with HEVC video and AAC audio. Now we will add two subflow outputs for each of those outputs. Expand the subflow category in the right list. Drag output 1 into the flow and connect the first executor output to it. Drag output 2 into the flow and do the same for the second output. Now we have a working subflow, but by adding an input field, we can customize its properties based on the needs of the flow utilizing it. To do this, Select the Fields tab in the right menu. When the Fields tab is opened, editing a flow element will show additional information for that element. Double-click the Video Encode element so we can add a field to set the quality. Click Add Field. Type Quality as its name. Change String to Slider. Under Description, we can add a description for this field. Click the clipboard icon next to Encoder to copy the unique identifier for this field and paste this value into the element field. Now we want to set a default of 24, a minimum of zero, and a maximum of 51. We will also turn on inverse as the quality value is inverted. Now we can close the flow element editor. Now we can name our subflow and save it, and it will be available for us to use. To begin using our new subflow, we need to create a new flow to use it. Click the plus icon and select Video File. Open the Subflow tab in the right menu. Our subflow should now be available. Drag it into our flow, and we can now set the quality that will be used for our flow. In this example, we will replace the original file with the temporary file created by our subflow. So we will add Replace Original and connect it to Output 1 of our subflow. We are not interested in Output 2 in this example, we can now save our flow and use it in a library. Thanks for watching.